Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Diligent Picks. Today I'm excited to talk about Shiva Baby. This is a directorial debut by Emma Seligman. Danielle, played by Rachel Sanat, is a young college student who attends this Shiva with her parents, which is a Jewish funeral service. At the same time, she ends up running into a couple interesting characters, including her ex, Maya, as well as her sugar daddy. <laughs> so of course, as you could imagine, there is some nice awkward humor and lots of interesting conversations that we explore throughout this film. Now one thing I really enjoyed about this film is the representation of the Jewish community. There aren't a lot of films I've seen pretty much are centered around an entire Jewish family. And I also like the way this film is put together. It's pretty much all set at this shiva and I like that it kind of feels pretty claustrophobic at times as we explore all the issues that Danielle is having with these different people and as things start to get progressively stranger and more complicated for her situation. I also think this film is very suitable for anyone. You don't have to be a part of the Jewish community to enjoy it. I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of things here though that would make it more enjoyable. There's a lot of terms and you know parts of the culture that I'm not familiar with. So I think, of course, if you are, you're gonna find little things here and there that are a lot more funny to you. But I think what I connected with the most is how the film explores what a college student is going through and all the anxiety and having to talk to people about what your future plans are, what you're doing. In this service, she runs into so many people who ask her the same exact questions, you know, how's the job applications going, you know, and if she has a boyfriend, etc., etc. And the film does a great job of putting you in her shoes and showing how much anxiety she's getting from all of this. The film's score has almost this kind of creepy, like, horror vibe to it. At certain points, you wonder if something very, uh, you know, scary is almost about to happen. And, uh, you know, there are a few moments here and there, but it's definitely not a horror film. I did find it frequently hilarious. I do think if I was to watch it again, I would probably laugh at it even more now that I fully understand the situation. There are a couple things that are revealed throughout the film that I do think giving it a second watch would benefit because having known what a lot of the characters' goals and ambitions are, I think it, it definitely gives you more perspective for the another viewing. I was very surprised how I was able to maintain interest throughout the entire film and I do think that has to do with the great pacing. This film is only 77 minutes long so any longer than that in this one setting I think would have probably been too much and it would have at times probably gotten a little too drawn out and I would have kind of lost interest. Thankfully that was never the case and I do think this is a movie that a lot of you would enjoy. It's got great performances, fascinating characters, and a script that really ties it all together. If I have to give this a rating I'd probably give it a three and a half out of five. I do think this is a film that I would probably enjoy even more watching it with friends or family as it is a comedy and that sort of elevates things especially when there's jokes that you might not get that other people do and you're able to kind of explain it. This film is available to rent on VOD services. I happen to check it out on Apple TV for seven dollars so I would highly recommend you guys give it a chance and that's why this film is a diligent pick. So guys what have you been watching lately? Are you now interested in checking out Shiva Baby? I highly recommend this film and I hope you guys are having a great start to your April so far. Definitely let me know what you're up to down in the comments. As always, my name is Dylan and if you love entertainment, subscribe to my channel while this video ends and send me a thumbs up before you go. Thanks for watching and stay diligent.